that Mubad no get justice at the end of the day. The truth is that the main distraction was not DNA. The distraction was Neramali and Samlari. They themselves know what happened to the boy. I'm telling you the truth. All of them, they know. Do you understand? Up to now, nobody don't bring proof. Any proof. Say Neramali by the boy. They never bring proof. Say Samlari by the boy. They know themselves. They know what happened that day. But they covered it up. They were trying to settle scores on whatever thing Neramali and Samlari did to them. Secondly, up until now, nobody has brought proof. Listen, listen, listen. Nobody has brought proof that, oh, this is where Neramali beats that boy. This is where Samlari beats the boy. The only video we saw, Samlari came in with boys. Then the video was cut short. Do you understand? Ask yourself why that video was cut short. He brought boys and it was cut short. Ask yourself a question. Somebody had a long video and decided to cut it. Maybe because nothing happened that day. So some people somewhere, they decided to twist everything and to use it to settle scores. I'm being honest with you. They say not DNA with distraction. Hell no. Hell no. Oh yeah, bring what happened to the boy. Do you understand? But they don't present the three boys where they inside the car. They don't present the three boys where they inside motorway mobile by. They arrest prime boys, say not prime boy. They don't release prime boy. When they find out now, say no be prime boy. The nurse where they arrest, we know hear anything about the nurse again. Samari and Ramali where they arrest, they don't release them. So waiting can really happen now. Yeah. Eh, very dark man distracted the case and talked about DNA. Then no still green to do the DNA. My people now like this this matter take waka. Mm? Like play like play. The thing does they go underground. The worst thing will go happen to we Nigerians we say make Nigeria no buy you because if they buy you now you lose. Because as it sit now, Muba no go ever get justice. Believe it or not. With the way the things are going now. <laughs> this is one year after I don't buy but up to now they have not brought out the concrete evidence say see, see we think by them to who they have people where they involve they don't dismiss everybody now they are left with nothing <laughs> no justice so so and a uh, uh, very dark man that is even saying you know at the initial uh, stage he was the one against um this uh justice from about you know as in getting to the root of it he diverted the attentions of the people from guess, getting justice to uh, dna test and up to today even that dna test has not been done it said you know my people that uh, as it stands now no one can get justice for nigeria again mm. or let's say you're there for top <laughs> for that top seat if now people wait they poor like the poor masses first forget about it okay take a look at what happened to that uh, student there is this livesta yes that one the case the father refused to bury him after two years he now decided to bury him. that guy didn't get justice and a lot of so many other people this have become a norm in our country this day and it's so sad yeah